Hello, my Fumble family, and welcome back to the Caden Fumble Bottom YouTube channel. What the? It's your boy, Controversial Kaden, coming at you with another controversial video. Disclaimer, Roblox happens. This video is not in any way controversial to myself. It is it is a uh, joke funny video. Please do not remove me from the star program. Thanks. And today's controversial video is actually a tier list of controversial users, but not individual users, not people that I'm calling out, no, I'm talking about stereotypical controversial Roblox users. I stumbled upon a page called List of Controversial Users on the Roblox Fandom Wikipedia, and on this list I discovered a whole bunch of different types of users that have been deemed controversial over time. So today I'm going to review those users and slap them all on a tier list, depending on just how controversial they've been throughout all of Roblox history. The rankings for today's tier list are as follows. The worst of the worst, the S-class controversial Roblox users receive the rank of, okay, yeah, you smell like farts in every aspect, because not only do they smell like farts physically, but every aspect of their personality is pretty stinky as well. Below that, we have, you're pretty smelly, I'd consider taking a shower as soon as possible. And that's for the people that don't quite smell like eternal farts in every aspect, but they still smell pretty bad and should consider taking a shower. Below that, we have, has acid reflex, Ugh. <coughs> You're making me very uncomfortable. Who are a super duper bad. They're not smelly necessarily, but they do make me uncomfortable and what they're doing is bad. Or just shouldn't be done. Below that we have tends to burp at dinner. Kind of ruins dinner for everyone. Not a very good thing to do, but at the same time it's kind of funny. But isn't really a bad person. And that's for the people that are honestly aren't trying to hurt people, but they kind of do things that may annoy people here and there. But that doesn't make them a bad person. And then below that we have uwu amazing and misunderstood and that is for the users who are downright not controversial there is nothing going on here i don't understand why people are upset with these people and yeah that's it so what are we waiting for my fumble family let's get to slapping <laughs> Ah, that is the official burp start, or starting burp. First up, we have the Bait and Switchers, which apparently are members that pull schemes known as false advertising in order to gain place visits and Robux. That sounds like clickbait. Oh no! The scam involves players changing the thumbnail and name of their game without actually updating the game itself. This can mislead players into playing the game, which contributes to the number of place visits and Robux the owner receives. Oh no. That is pretty bad, honestly. I mean, if you're just updating the thumbnail just because you're like, hey, I want a new thumbnail because my poopy dooby stupid old one looks like a grandma and I want to get it the heck out of here. Then it's totally fine to switch out your thumbnails and titles as much as you want. But if you're just doing it to bait people into playing your game to get some Robux, that's not very nice. In fact, it's kind of mean. Okay, so digging a bit deeper here, it says one example of something they do a lot is misleading place images. So they're types of images placed on a game that intend to lure players in, but actually have nothing to do with the game itself, thus creating a sense of clickbait. If you guys want a good example as to what kind of game that is, let me show you one. Here we have a prime example. Among Us, Tower of Hell. Wow, that sounds fun. I bet you chase around imposters and crewmates and do tasks in the Tower of Hell. That sounds like a great concept for a game. Please, developers, if you're listening, make that. But let's jump in there and find out. <gasps> What's this? A blank map that's simply just a tower game and a bunch of noobs wearing stinky little noob items playing it? I smell something fishy going on. It's the entirety of this game, so without further ado, I'm going to fart like so, and leave this game because it is a false advertisement and the like ratio confirms that. That all being said, I, that's a pretty lame thing to do. It's not the worst thing ever. It's not like you're really hurting anybody by wasting their time for a second and like making them go into your game and just being like, oh, this is not what I wanted. I think I'm gonna go ahead and slap you onto has acid reflex. You're making me very uncomfortable because they're not a terrible, terrible person, but like that's still a pretty lame thing to do. So for now, they give me acid reflex. 
Next up, we have the guest, which I did not expect to see on this tier list. I had the guest on my band players tier list because Roblox straight up yeeted them from existence and threw them into the abyss. Rest in peace, guest. But according to this Wikipedia, they are on the list of controversial users, so let's find out why. Guests were Roblox players that did not have an account. In games, guests mostly had the same permissions as registered users, albeit the lack of permission to communicate with others. They were often the target of condemnation by registered users, mostly due to inexperience in-game and inability to react. So basically, guests were just like little bully buddies. If you caught a guest in a game, you could basically just go up to them and start slapping them around and it didn't really matter okay from a moral standpoint it, it, it matters but from like a non-moral standpoint there's nothing that roblox admins could do about it because the guest can't report you so if a guest walked up to you well <laughs> Just hit them with one of those! Another criticism was that they could freely exploit games and not suffer the consequences, as they did not have their own account to be banned on. I can see how that would be an issue, actually. <laughs> In October 2017, the guest feature was removed from Roblox. <laughs> Rip. Oh, apparently they have rarity ratings too. Rarity of the guest, no longer possible. That's the rarest of them all. Uh, I would say the guest isn't exactly a controversial user, though I would say people use the ability of the guest to do controversial things. So that all being said, I, the original guest, the non-exploiting and or rule-breaking guest, I would slap on the uwu, amazing and misunderstood rank. But because the fact the guests were literally removed, Move because of the naughty guest, I'm going to go ahead and slap you onto. Dun 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 dun. Bam! You're pretty smelly. I consider taking a shower as soon as possible. Congratulations, guest. You have been ranked. Next, we have users known as online trolls, and here is the amazing example image that's used for them. Wow, it's really beautiful. Online trolls are people in Roblox context that annoy, grief, or even on rare occasion, bully or harass other players. Oh no! These players are usually somewhat older users that want to get a rise out of messing with younger players, although younger users are not immune from displaying similar behaviors. You know us old Roblox users, we just want to beat up kids. Some people that troll and use more serious methods have been a subject of scrutiny, especially by the media. Due to many younger users leaving Roblox as a result of the trolls methods which include and are not limited to bullying sending inappropriate messages swearing discriminating others particularly against minorities and certain subcultures rarity fairly common okay uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and say it trolls you kinda suck. Based on this description, at least their description of a troll is downright terrible. I mean, like, discriminating, bullying? Those are terrible things to do. I think it goes without saying that at least this version of a troll gets slapped on to the top rank. Okay, yeah. You smell like farts in every aspect. Personality-wise and physically. Congratulations, trolls. <laughs> You done sniffed it up again. Now we got the scam bots, and I don't imagine this is gonna get a great ranking, but let's read the description anyway. Scam bots are Roblox accounts that spam links to scam websites in any comment section on Roblox, mostly under the guise of giving away free Robux. Hey, did you uh did, uh, did you just say free Robux? Oh uh, uh yeah, little Caden, I said free Robux, but it's for a video. It's not for you. <laughs> Sorry. Their primary target was non-paying users, as they may be unable to afford or were not allowed to purchase Robux. In December 2018, a new capture was implemented to stop scam bots from spamming comment sections. However, in January 2019, the capture was bypassed. <laughs> Fortunately, scam bots now appear every few months in a form of new bot accounts or hacked accounts that became bots. However, you can still see the spam messages from years prior in various comment sections. Rarity? Very common. That is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, yeah, scam bots, they really stink. I mean, they're maybe the stinkiest of all stinkies. Like, say you had like a crusty, wet gym sock sitting in the corner of your room for like, I don't know, 37 years. That's probably the equivalent of stink that the scam bot carries. So we're gonna slap the scam bot right up here at the top next to the troll on, okay, yeah, you smell like farts. In every aspect. Congratulations, scam bots, you smell. Next, we have online daters, commonly abbreviated as ODers, which are users who play Roblox with the intention of finding a girlfriend or boyfriend. Such behavior is in fact against Roblox's terms of service. They are often found role-playing in games such as Meep City and their excessive use of similar stuff 
styles have caused many avatar types and username styles to become stereotyped with them. Although most online daters do not pose a threat, they may be involved in inappropriate behavior on rare occasions. Okay, I do want to make a disclaimer though. I don't think there's anything wrong with online dating outside of Roblox. Like if you're two adults just looking to have a relationship online, there are plenty of people who have met each other online and be, you know, had amazing relationships and stuff like that. But specifically in this case, we are just talking in terms of people who are going out of Roblox to find a role play boyfriend and girlfriend and sometimes, and in most cases are pretty innocent. But as the, sorry, as the Wikipedia said, are sometimes not that appropriate. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and slap them onto the has acid reflex. You're making me uncomfortable rank because as stated, a lot of them are innocent, but some of them aren't. So I can't give them a great rank, but I can't give them a terrible rank. Below that, we have exploiters, which are players that use programs to insert exploits into games, which with the intent of having fun or destroying the game. Such behavior is against the terms of service. That is true. Most exploits come in various forms, but including, but not limited to, deleting game parts, inserting random models, and kicking players from the game. In extreme cases, they may also break Roblox's community rules. However, in rare cases, there can be harmless exploiters that usually no clip or fly, and this does not affect any other users or remove any other exploiters from the game. Rarity, uncommon. Okay, okay, I see. So all in all, exploiters seem like they can be pretty bad, but sometimes they can be kind of good. So I think there's another person that's like, sometimes they're up to no good. Sometimes they're a little naughty getting cold on their stalking little elf. But sometimes they're just innocent little hackers that are just making their way through town. So I think I have to slap you next to the online daters and the switchers and baiters on the has acid reflex. You're making me very uncomfortable, Rank. Because some of them stink, but some of them smell very pleasant. Below that, we have brainlets, which are players who dress their avatar in typically ugly manner. That's a little little me, don't you think? Which may include, but not limited to, mismatched body parts, strange hats and clothing combinations, strange faces, as well as memed clothing items. Nothing wrong with that. Most brainlets do this mostly to seek attention, look funny, act intentionally stupid, or humiliate players who lose to them in competitive gameplay. They also may actively harass or annoy other users. Rarity. Somewhat common. Usually in games with character customization <laughs> games or games that Flamingo has featured. Wow, way to, way to call my boy Albert out like that. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and say this, like, you shouldn't just associate these people with harassing, I feel like. This is just someone wearing meme stuff, like, they, they literally have, like, a JoJo item on. I don't know, I like brainlets, personally speaking, especially because Albert was mentioned in there. That's bonus points. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and slap brainlets onto Uwu. Amazing and misunderstood right where they belong. Or if you beg to differ, let me know down in the comments below. Before we continue on, my Fumble family, I did want to beg you desperately to like and sub if you have not already, because that does help me out a ton and I would greatly appreciate it. Now, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Let's get back to the video. Next, we have the copy and paste, aka the aesthetics. Sounds cool. Let's read what they're about. These are players who utilize specific items and are often associated with emo slash e-girl and e-boy or hip hip culture. What is hip hip? I think they meant hip hop, maybe? Not hip hip? I don't know. Most users that fall into this category are female users, as many of them copy other female users' avatars, hence giving them the name copy and paste. They generally have toxic attitudes, which are usually towards other older players. They engage in things such as bypassing the filter and sending explicit messages. Oh no. Copy and paste are commonly associated with romanticizing of depression and other mental disorders, which could be perceived perceived as ableist as well as online dating. Okay, after reviewing this information, it, it's honestly terrible that they romanticize depression and other mental disorders. Other than that, I don't think you could slap that onto like a certain type of person and say that's like a stereotype, but at the same time, I do understand where they're coming from with that. On account of most of this seems to just be about the fact that they have an aesthetic or like a certain like design that they're copying from other users. They're not harming many people. So I don't exactly know if they're terrible, but at the same time, the other stuff that's was pretty bad, so I don't exactly know where to slap you. So for now, I'm just going to slap you on too. Has acid reflex? You're making me very uncomfortable. Next to the other three on that rank, currently the most populated rank. And we only have three 
controversial users to go through, what will they be ranked? Next, we have the Slenders, who are players that are considered to be the male counterparts of copy and paste. Similar to copy and paste, Slenders are known to be extremely toxic. That's a step up from the copy and paste. They are commonly found in games such as ragdoll engines and club games. Their usual avatar consists but are not limited to wearing multiple hairs at once, many UGC items, and replacing their avatar's legs with a skeleton leg. Am I one of these things? I have a skeleton leg! Oh no! Uh, or a peg leg, as well as making their avatar extremely tall. Apparently, Slenders are also known to date their female counterparts. They seem to hold the same exact issues as the uh, copy and paste, so I'll just slap them next to copy and paste. I think that seems fair, right? Okay, now we have the Rogue Gangsters, who are considered a similar counterpart to the copy and paste and Slenders. However, they are known to be extremely toxic. Wasn't that what the Slenders were also? <laughs> It says here that rogue gangsters have gone as far as trying to bypass racial slurs and chatting them out towards other users. Um, that's... you don't say racial slurs? I guess that's terrible! I'm gonna go ahead and slap you on the you're pretty smelly, I'd consider taking a shower ASAP. Because, uh, I didn't really even read over that much, I just read you say racial slurs and I know that's not good. And last, but certainly not least, or actually may maybe least, we have the user known as free-to-play users, often shortened to F2P if you're hip and cool like me. These are players who do not spend money on Roblox, as they may be new to the platform, or in younger users' cases, they're unable to convince their parents to purchase Robux for them. Uh-oh, they got... No bucks. Oh, man. Other users occasionally call them... Noobs. These sort of players existed since the release of Roblox, but due to Tick still being a thing, they were able to afford more items. Due to their lack of access to Robux, they often use as many free items as they can to design their avatar. As a result, their avatars are usually disliked due to the lack of coherency and thought going into the avatar's design, which is mostly attributed to the F2P users' limited access to a wide range of items. Rarity? Very common. I'm sorry, free-to-play users. It, it, it seems like you're not terrible people. I, I think, honestly, you would be misunderstood. But the, the rank of 10's the perfect dinner, but isn't really a bad person, isn't taken. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap you onto there, because, I don't know, it hasn't been taken. Somebody needs to be there, right? So congratulations, free-to-play users. You've been placed. Okay, my Fumble family, if you like this video, if you agree with where I place these people on this list, or if you disagree with me, let me know by liking this video and commenting in the comments down below. Please sub if you haven't already, and turn on notifications, because that does help me out a whole butt ton. And until next time, my Fumble family, non-controversial YouTuber, slap. <laughs>